Boris Johnson's pledge to heal divisions following last week's general election has occupied many of the columnists. How will he do so? What will he deliver for his newfound blue-collar supporters? What about the political chasm which has opened up between Carlisle and Gretna? Mr Johnson himself remains something of an enigma, having avoided the biggest interviewers and eschewed a genuine program in favour of a pithy slogan. Which Boris Johnson will we get? Ponders Tim Bailey in The Observer. The first possibility, he says is that when it comes to Johnson and his principles there is, to borrow from Gertrude Stein, simply no there there. According to this take the Prime Minister is no more and no less than an amalgam of ambition and ego. But Bale concludes that the Prime Minister is no more than a bog-standard British right-winger, who appreciates intuitively how to appeal to British voters and their sense of their country. As a result, he does not think Mr Johnson is sincere. Each and every one of the Prime Minister's predecessors, remember, made similarly heartwarming speeches on the steps of Number 10 about healing a divided country, only to walk through its shiny black door and proceed to do pretty much the opposite. Elsewhere there is even less sign of rift healing. A mind-boggling take comes from Peter Hitchens in the Mail on Sunday, who argues the Tory victory is nothing of the sort. Mr Johnson's mind is not conservative. He's a North London bohemian a social liberal who can barely understand the arguments for lifelong marriage. He is rich enough to have no idea how bad and how crammed with indoctrination, state schools actually are. Continuing in this vein for some time Mr Hitchens is scornful of the any notion of one nation conservatism. Alice to Campbell, he bizarrely claims has engineered a reverse takeover of the Tories by new Labour. Brexit won't answer the prayers of leavers, resulting mainly in technical changes to trade policy. Those who hope to get their country back will be left staring around them and seeing the same old mess. So have the fearmongers got it all wrong about Mr Johnson? Is he a liberal lefty in disguise? Not for John Niven in the Sunday Mail, whose bilious ire is directed at voters in former Labour seats who have thrown their lot in with the Conservatives. The Tories have now become the party of the North of England, of working-class people. It's like Bernard Matthews is leading the Turkey party and the Turkeys are liking up to vote for him, he says. Any suggestion that people might vote to protect those with least in society, or the most vulnerable, is gone, his diatribe continues. Under Thatcherism we moved into a phase where people openly and selfishly voted for their own best interests. Now, today, we enter a strange new world where people, in their droves, for more on this story, visit the news article link.